George William Dreamer. I'm from the Pioneer Indian Reservation in Pioneer, South Dakota. So before I was, I was in a gang. I sold drugs. I did drugs. Um, you name it, what, what it comes along with that, that's what I basically was involved in this neighborhood right here, actually. And I'm still here. And I'm trying to bring people out of here and, and be an example of of what, what the Lord could bring someone from like me and to someone some to the higher place. And so I think he's using me to bring others out of this place where I'm from right now. And so, yeah, so I was um, the worst of the uh, worst of the worst, you know, we'd, we'd always fight, you know, you name it. And, and then when that's basically how before my life was before the Lord. Friends die. Um, my brother committed suicide. Um, I seen all my lost lost my friends to um, alcohol, drugs, um, uh, just like what you see in the movies. Is basically what most of this played out here. Seen my uncles get shot. Seen my my own people fighting my whole life. You know, grew up around violence, and it was just a real violent time before I found the Lord in my life. Well, I was I was um, I, I after my daughter was born and. You know, and passed away, and a couple other pastors came prayed for me. My grandma had them pray for me, and at the time I didn't know that. And then, since then, after after he passed away, and prayed for me, and he come into my house for Bible study. I just kept hearing his voice. It was to me, it was the voice of God. That was that was so powerful. And, and I, then, I, then after that, I just came up to the Bible studies and. Just that prayer alone just saved me, and, and after that point on, I, would, I gave my heart to the Lord, and, and He saved me from from all this from, this, from destruction that I, that I was going through. When when the Lord moves in your heart, it's something that's you have you have to experience it for yourself. You have to live it yourself, and when the Lord comes to you, and and in a so so special way that that it's I want others to. To experience what the Lord did for me, and, you know, and it's you could tell your experiences, but to experience it on your own, it's indescribable. And you know, that's what I want. Uh, that's my message to people: is you have to experience the Lord yourself. And you could hear it from me all you want, but to experience it yourself is the greatest, uh, greatest honor you could get from Him. And that's that's how past past people I talk to, you know, they, they I tell them about my my testimony, and and it relates to them. And you know. And, and when they see me, someone like me coming from where I'm at and where I'm at right now, you know, how the, what the Lord's doing in my life, and, and I just share with them, you know, I just share with them my experiences, and, 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 it, and it touches them, and, you know, and it makes them want to experience it themselves. So, you know, this is, like I said, the Lord's using me in this place to bring others out. It's, you know, you just, when you, 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 hear, you, you hear the Lord's voice and, and in prayer, and, 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 and you know you're forgiven whenever... He's just working in your life so so diligently, so sweet and so powerful. He answers your prayers. You, it just it, that experience alone. You know, you have to experience it yourself, and it, it's it's it, 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 it touches my heart every time I talk about things like this because I I, I could have been dead. Or I was supposed to be dead already. I wasn't even supposed to be here. You know, so Jeremiah thirty three three. Call, call unto me and I'll answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. That's the, that's for my favorite scripture right there and that explains everything. You just just call unto God and he'll show you, like he said, it's great and mighty things you don't even know and, and he'll show them to you. That that's my scripture that really stands out in my heart and that's my yeah. He's 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 alive today, right now it's it's he's alive in me. And and when you give your life to the Lord, he's alive in you and, and it's not it's not like you're waiting for him to come back and I hear he's it's your Jesus is in you and and, and you and people see the, the light, that's Jesus. And with the way you show your light, that's the Jesus that you show all over. And so Jesus is, is right here. I'm Jesus is in me and, and and I'm doing my my best to show the show this this uh, my the people here that Jesus is, is right here with me. It's, it's so this my the reservation here is based on forty thousand around forty thousand people here. And probably like a hundred believe in Jesus here, and so there's spiritual warfare every day. That before my feet even hit the ground, I get out of bed. I'm I'm in a war. I'm in a war. I'm fighting, and so I face persecution daily. It's not like once in a while I hear some. No, it's every day through social media, personal, at work, anywhere, even in this neighborhood. 
but uh, but I'm still I have this cross here, and I let people know, you know, I'm about Jesus, no matter what. I'm, I'm not about that life no more. I'm about Jesus, and and and, and you know, I'll, I'll Jesus, I'll my life is in His hands, and um, so yeah, if you, you face persecution on a daily basis. It ain't like every other day or once in a while. It's every day you face persecution there, but but that's what makes you. That's what makes you who you are in Jesus, and. And it, it builds you up, and it don't, it don't tear you down. Don't let it tear you down. Make it. You gotta accept that and make it build yourself up in that also. Yeah. So I was when I first gave my life to the Lord. I, I said, Lord, use me to do Your works. Use me in, in Your way. I'm here. Use me. And and and, and the and the, spirit, the spirit of the Lord said, carry across across your reservation. So I was like, no, I don't want to do that because I was just not gave my life to the Lord. I said no, and I was putting it off for a week. Then I shared it in church and. Um, and so that when we did this, it was the first time ever the, we a cross been carried across the reservation ever in the history of this reservation. It took us five days. We carried it for 50 some miles across the reservation, starting in Kyle all the way to here. It took us five days, and then we do it every year for um, just to show people the that Jesus is real. It's 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 a message that Jesus is real and alive, and He loves you, you know. And 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 because no one else is doing it, and 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 and, and so we that's what that's what the Lord puts on my heart to do every year. When we'd, we'd carry it, um, people would come by honking. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. Even little kids were saying that out the window. And that's what that, even if one person gave their life to the Lord out of these thousands, it was all worth it. And, and, and we had, we had um, at one point, we'd, we'd stop at these houses and pray towards these houses, these neighborhoods. And at the end of the day, I get a phone call and this family says, George, we've seen you guys praying at our approach. Just by you guys doing that, we're going to give our life back to the Lord. And so that just just simple acts like that, you, you know, you could change people's lives. And so that's so that's um that's there. There's many more testimonies that that they have that people that helped carry have testimonies, and we got testimonies, a lot of testimonies also too. So, and this is a it's a it's 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 not the it's not the carnality of this is like people say you're trying to be like Jesus. You can't be that. That's the carnality of it. What people need to understand the spirituality of it. Is that Jesus is alive? This is a message for Jesus. Like three weeks ago, I believe it was. Um, my wife gets a text from her friend, and she says, "My baby's not moving. It's it's um, the doctors told me to go home and prepare myself to get it extracted or or something. I don't know a procedure for it." And I tell her, "The Spirit of the Lord said, pray for her." So I, I said, I told my wife, I said, "I'm gonna go go do my Bible study. I'm gonna pray for her." And 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 so I, I prayed for her, and, and not, I didn't, next day I didn't think about nothing. I didn't even. I forgot all about it, I, and, and and she texts me. She texts my wife and said, "Tell George, thanks for praying. My my baby's moving. The doctors confined me to bed rest and medication, and um and 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 and, and I'm a, and I want to live now. Before that, she said, I want to die. I'm gonna kill myself. My baby's dead. I don't want to live no more. And right there, that's when the Lord said, pray for her. So I did, and then. So her baby's she's be doing she's be doing she be doing like in a couple of weeks here or something she's gonna have her kid, and then um, at the same time of that there was a warfare with that, her family's sun dancers and they went to their medicine men and they told her, she was telling them the situation of um, my what was wrong with her and they told her, you're on your own we can't help you and she was all feeling down about it, and then so whenever they heard back that I prayed for her and I'm a Christian and the baby's alive. They were putting me down. That's it. I got I got persecuted right there too. They were saying, saying a bunch of things about me. I don't even know these guys, but then it, it, it's, the glory is not the glory is all for God. You know that's why He puts us in the situations to, to to make these non-believers believe that you know He's real. And so that was a, so the baby's good and healthy, and she should be delivering here in a couple of weeks. Just 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 two days ago at the Pawa, I was uh, there was this young man. He was like 22 years old. And he was sitting there with his head down, and I was talking with him, and 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 I was just sharing him. I was just sharing with him about Jesus and about my life and how the Lord's using me. And I thought I wasn't getting no response out of him, you know. But I was just still pressing into him. You know, I wasn't trying to be mean or nothing like that. And he looked up at me. And he had just tears rolling down his eyes. He was just crying. And I said, I said, that's God. God loves you. He, Jesus loves you. I said, and and that was just happened two days ago. And this and he, and, and so. He said that when I was telling sharing about the house of prayer, and he said he wants to come back and help me with it, and and, and he said he wants to, he wants he wants God in his life now, just like that, and it just happened two days ago. So I cry because it's you have to experience it, you know. I mean, you have to let God in your life. You, she, 
I mean, I thought I was a, I thought I was a tough guy and all this, but you know, God, he, he give your life to God. He's he take care of you in every way, especially around here. You know, on here, it's it's hard, but you just gotta keep believing in God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, I lift up all these all the children before you, Father. They're, they're, they're your kids before anybody's, Father. And I pray that you just keep your guardian angels around them, Lord, and show them your love and your mercy and your your kindness and your your healing and your your blessings, Father. Just bless the youth, Father, right now. Any youth that are having a hard time right now, just know that God's God's waiting, waiting to use you. He went to use you in a mighty way. You can be a powerful testimony in His eyes and in your eyes and your families. You're gonna change lives. You're gonna you're gonna heal people. You're gonna you're gonna you can be just this awesome testimony for the Lord. You're His angels, and it, and the youth out there. I I, we, I I know how it is, and I've been there before. I''m, it's when God loves you. God's always going to love you. He's He's there for you. Just continue to stay focused on Him. And the Lord, the Lord will see you through. I just bring this before you, all the youth. Just give your life to the Lord, and see what happens. Experience this. Experience God first time. Experience that relationship with Him, that prayer relationship, that that love relationship, the Father relationship. You experience all that with Him. And I, I urge you to do this, please, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.